Welcome into the video. I'm your tech guide Wayne and today I want to show you how to mirror your Samsung Galaxy S24 screen to your TV. I'm going to show you uh, the most popular methods to do this uh, and the goal is to just make it easy for you. Um, I'm going to show you how to do it with a cable and then I'm going to show you how to do it wirelessly so you can kind of choose what option works best for your objective and your TV setup. So let's jump right into the video. I'll be using a cable for this first um, demonstration and this is going to be a type C to a HDMI cable. Now I'm going to flash on the screen really quickly. Um, this is where you can purchase that cable. It's on Amazon. Um, if you're going to go this route, you'll want to purchase the long, the longest option possible, depending on how far your TV is from where you sit. If you're in a living room and your TV is far away, you're going to need at least a 10 or even longer uh, cable. Now I'm going to slide the phone over here because uh, I'm going to show you right here so you can see exactly what it's going to look like on the TV um, as I'm uh, making the connection. There's some things you need to be aware of when we make the connection. So I just want to walk you through exactly how to set this up. All right, so we can see our TV screen right here. I'm going to go ahead and connect um, the cable to the bottom. And obviously on your TV, um, you'll want to make sure that your TV is on and you'll want to make sure that you are on the HDMI port that your cable is plugged into. So I'm going to just switch over here. So now I am plugged. I am on the, the input that my cable is connected to. You're going to see this pop up for something called Samsung Dex. Now this is just a feature of the S24 that allows you to turn your phone into a full desktop computer. Um, now this video isn't about that, so we're going to click this away. Uh, I just want you to be aware that this is the first thing that will pop up whenever you connect uh, a Type-C to HDMI cable. We're going to hit start and you're going to see um, this DEX option pop up on the TV. Now to, to get this to go away, you'll simply need to swipe down from the top of the screen, swipe down again and tap on the DEX button. And when you turn that off, that'll go away. And now you'll be able to see just your phone on the TV. And now everything you do on the phone is going to show up on the TV. Now, this is a great option if you are trying to show your gameplay on a bigger TV. It's also a great option if you're trying to do a demonstration and maybe teach someone how to use an app or how to use their phone. It's great for that. It's also great if you have pictures from a trip and you're simply trying to show the pictures quickly on a screen. Um, but it's not the most ideal method if you're trying to show, for example, a video on YouTube or a video uh, on like uh, uh, Hulu or Netflix. So I'm going to end this section. I'm going to simply unplug this cable and you'll see once you unplug it, um, the TV is going to, you know, stop mirroring. Now we're going to switch our TV to a different input. And we're going to move on to the second section of the video, which is going to be how to mirror your screen to a Chromecast. What is a Chromecast? A Chromecast is a little dongle that you plug in the back of your TV. And this is going to basically make any HD TV compatible for you to mirror your screen or send things from your phone to the TV. Now, disclaimer, you will need Wi-Fi to make this work. So if you don't have Wi-Fi, obviously this method is not going to work. So just, you know, disregard it. Um, if you don't have a Chromecast, no problem. There's a little shopping cart you'll see on this side of the screen. If you tap on that shopping cart, you'll see a link to a Chromecast you can purchase. They're really inexpensive. They're around $30. And again, you just plug it in, connect it to Wi-Fi, and then make sure your phone is on Wi-Fi as well. And then I can easily just open up a YouTube video. First, I'm going to turn my volume down here and let's go ahead and find a video to show. I'm going to go to this video. Okay. I'm going to first pause it. Obviously a commercial is going to come up, which is great. Let's skip that commercial. I'm going to pause the video. I'm then going to tap on this cast icon at the top of the screen. And here it's going to display all the compatible devices that I would be able to mirror my phone screen to. Now, in this case, my Chromecast is named Din TV. So I'm going to tap on Din TV. Now I'm going to give it a couple of seconds to make the connection. And you'll see YouTube is going to pop up on the screen. And then here's our video. It's playing. 
And guess what? Now I can hit the home button and now I can go to text messages. I can make a phone call. I can basically use my phone like normal and the video is going to play uninterrupted on the TV. That's why I love this option so much because you can still use your phone like normal and you can have your content displayed on the TV. So again, this is the more ideal option if your goal is to just play a video or a movie from your phone, I would say do it this way. Now, when you swipe down from the top of your phone here, you can interact with the video, you can pause it, there's a little slider where you can control, you know, you can fast forward it, rewind the video. And then when you're all done watching that video, just simply tap on the pop-up. It'll take you back to YouTube. And um, give it a second, it's just finishing up the connection here. Um, you're gonna tap on the video and then tap on that little cast icon and hit disconnect. And that will stop the phone from mirroring your screen to the TV. So just that easy, we were able to mirror our phone right to the, you know, our video to the TV, but still use our phone to do all the normal things that we would use it for. So that's how to wirelessly mirror. And again, you'll see a shopping cart right here. You can tap for a link for that Chromecast. Now, the third option, I'm not going to spend a ton of time on because there's a, a much smaller niche of people that this applies to, but I want to just briefly go over it. So um, if you have a Samsung Smart TV and you have Wi-Fi, you can use another feature called Samsung Smart View. You'll simply swipe down from the top of the screen swipe down again and tap on this smart view option in the corner we're going to hit continue and this will show a list of compatible devices that you'll be able to mirror your phone to and again it works it really works the best with samsung tvs um, it also um, it can work with other uh, smart TVs, but it really works the best with Samsung TVs. And to get the best experience, you really do need Wi-Fi. So um, if you have a Samsung Smart TV, definitely try out this feature. And um, it is another really cool option that will allow you to mirror your phone screen to the TV. I'm going to go ahead and uh, jump back to our home screen and slide that phone back to the center. This is the end of our video, guys, and I'm curious to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. Are you the type of person that would prefer to just buy the cable and connect directly? Or are you the person that would prefer to do it wirelessly using a Chromecast or the Smart View option? Drop in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear what option would work best for your setup. And also I wanna give a quick plug to this uh, clear case I'm using by um, FNT. Um, it's a really nice clear case, very simple design, um, very sturdy design as well and a very reasonable price. So if you have an S24 and you haven't purchased a case yet, I will drop a link in the description of where you can get this one. Really awesome case. Um, I'm feeling the love. Again, super durable, and uh, I'm a clear case guy. I love to be able to see the color of the phone. This is the new uh, like silver metal color, and so um, loving that case. Anyway, guys, if you found the video helpful, hit that like button down below. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care, and as always, have a good one.